Hello and welcome, I'm Aruma, thank you for joining me, let's play some more Factorio. So we're going to continue just playing the same save that we were doing. So, let's see if we can maybe even get some green sides pack automations. What's this going to take? It's going to take transport belts and inserters. Okay. To make transport belts automatically, we need iron gear wheels, which isn't that big of a deal. We need regular iron plates and iron gear wheels. We are making iron gear wheels right now and we actually are building up a stockpile these can outproduce the consumption of these so if we wanted to we could take iron gear wheels from there and I could even put down an automation unit like here you could use a, a long-handed inserter to grab from there iron gear wheels and what So it takes iron gear wheels and iron plates. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do it like that. What if instead, let's just, I, I know we're going to need like infinite of these damn things. And that does it for, almost does it, for the pure red signs. Shotgun shells, shotgun damage, and then bullet shooting speed. Alright, might as well work on that, since it's pretty easy technology for now. Um, are the assembler 2s much faster? I know they are. Um, they take more power. Another 60 kilowatts, but they craft 50% faster. So eventually we'll want to upgrade to those as well. Alright, so major iron gear wheels. Just make lots of them. Look at all those iron gear wheels that I have in my inventory. Okay, once you've made them... Let me just take a little bit of that iron back. So I can make a couple more science stations. Once they're there, we need to get them out. Hmm. Just out of curiosity, what if I tried to run track underneath these? Oh, that's beautiful. Yep, that will work out splendidly. Let's make sure to use a fast inserter because I'm kind of concerned. So gears can come out. Give me more fast inserters, please. Let's get those science stations down. So will take our power usage up even higher. I'm not scared, are you? Okay, so we're researching stuff that we don't really need while I'm trying to eventually get some some pretty good green science pack automation going. Okay, so we've got gears coming out quick. Gears are used in making transport belts. So really the only thing that we need to feed right now to this big huge sciency type area is copper, rarely and iron. Iron goes here, copper goes here, that's it. Now if I add another one of cop of iron here and we put a box, say 
Not really right there. I probably want to put the box This one didn't even need it because it's just gonna be right next to the box. But it's it'll, it kind of allows me to merge these two production chains. All right, it, it works. It's messy, but it works. Okay, so now if I put iron here and here, then we've got everything we need to make... And how annoying is that? Everything that we need to make uh, transport belts. We'll just need to really pick up on iron production. And for now, we are still manually transferring it over. I should really dump all this stone. Like, why am I even carrying around this stone? Yeah, I guess we'll make some stone furnaces with it while we have it, but it's not useful to carry. Other than that, we'll dump the rest of the stone. Let's, uh, let's just throw the iron ore into some of these smelters, preferably the ones at the end that have a hard time getting resources. So we'll put half there and half here. Um, heck, we'll even throw some coal on them, just to get rid of it. We've also got stone bricks. I really don't need to carry that around. Extra offshore pumps, extra mines, some burner miners. We don't need the burner miner drills, I haven't used those in forever. Um, extra magazines. Just stuff I don't really want. You don't have any fuel. Oh, that's right. Copper coal mining kind of lost its its output or its input rather. And we're not using this anymore. So we'll get rid of it. And regular old single power inserters probably plenty to keep these going. What was I trying to get rid of next? It was the, the coal. I don't need this coal. Alright, give me your copper. Goodness gracious, it's a lot of copper. And I guess just give me as much iron as you can afford for now. I'm going to go dump all this copper over there. <laughs> Look at those red science packs. It's a lot of red science packs. Alright, so what needs copper? These two. Here, you take half of what I have, and then you get the other half. Done with copper. Okay, um, you take all my iron, and we'll be back for more iron soon. Next, we need to set up the output for the conveyor belts into another box. We should be able to pick up quite a bit of iron here. 1,200. Not bad. It's not a huge amount. We can also manually put these spare iron gear wheels that apparently I made myself or something at some point into the box here. And then these ones are accumulating gear wheels as well, so we'll just grab those and dump them here. And iron goes here. So now we've got iron here. Not much though. Let's uh, let's take half of this back.
You are making transport belts. We need you to dump your transport belts somewhere. Probably just directly out below you. Into another iron chest. So that's half of the recipe for greens. Next we need to automate inserter production. Inserters take iron gear wheels, which we have tons, iron plates, and electronic circuits. So we have everything we need in this chest if I just add electronic circuits here. So how about we intend to have this thing with another fast inserter to carry stuff out. And another box to go here. This will make, when it, when it can, it will make inserters. Why can't I choose a recipe even if it doesn't... I have to actually have the material to be able to choose the recipe? That's kind of silly. Oh, it's made in more advanced stuff. That's part of the problem. That's not, that's not what our issue was. We definitely need to upgrade one of these then. Bullet speed! Okay, anything else we can do with red? We, I mean, <laughs> bullet damage. Go. No, 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 no. I just wanted this stack, not the whole thing. Alright. have to upgrade this one to a blue. Now I want you to make inserters. Now how do we make chips? <laughs> Electronic circuits. Takes iron plates and copper cable. So copper cable. Finally something to do with all of our spare copper, right? So copper cable. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll just manually manually load the circuits in there for now. Um, maybe, or we could have the output be adjacent to one of these things. Iron plates are already going to be there. It's just copper cable. Copper cable is very simple. Copper cable is just copper. So any one of these things that has copper, we can tie into. What if I got rid of the light? And we just threw an assembly machine there, and with a long-handed inserter, we stole some copper and we made wire up here. And we grab a fast inserter to extract it, and it's not it's not meshing with this grid style, but and it's actually also not close to this thing, which would be ideal. Well, I really don't want to make too much cable. I mean, I guess, I don't know, maybe I do. What if we just continue with the grid style? We put an assembling machine... Oh, looks like something just died. Five turrets. We didn't get attacked. I mean, they tried to attack. Let's use a level two assembling machine, because I have a feeling that we'll need it. We'll use a long-handed inserter. And... All right, copper supply was there. Damn. Whatever. I'm just gonna throw down a another box. 
with a fast inserter. Okay, you've made copper coils. Oh shoot! Oh, I skipped a step again. Copper qu copper makes the. Uh... Okay, so we still need to make electronic circuits before we can make this. Electronic circles circuits are what need to go. Say into this one. So let's change this up. Change recipe. Electronic circuits will get made here. So electronic circuits. Oh, need copper cable and iron plates. I don't even know if we want this, but we'll get it. So electronic circuits. Still haven't even gotten started on steel production, which is another one of those things that I should be doing. Power usage is okay. How's the map looking? See, those radars are doing a good job. They're revealing a lot of space. You can tell that pollution's really kicking up. These things cost pollution. Not very much, but a little tiny bit. So we haven't made a single one of those things, and we're out of iron. So, okay. You are going to make coils. A chest will go here. This will hold copper. You will need a fast inserter. You will make coils. Okay. You should not be here. You should be on the other side. Copper coils. Make them. You need iron. It's so close. It just it wants it wants to work. It just can't. I need iron. And then I need long handed inserters. In fact, we'll even put two just to make sure that that thing gets what it needs. Give me the iron! Ugh, ugh, it's messy. I don't like it. I want robots. I want robots that'll just allow me to use smart chests, and I can just control where stuff goes using smart chests. That seems like it'll be a lot easier. Little automated robots. So we are starting to piss off Maybe these guys eventually. I should probably worry about defending that side. Right? Okay! <laughs> Still not there. This needs to have its own supply of iron. Oh, and you need your own inserter to grab the iron. So we got m pretty rapid gear production, which ends up going over here. And all these gears maybe is overkill. Definitely overkill. But we are auto we it's just, it's so messy. But we're making inserters and we're making these things automatically. So that's great. Eventually I might figure out a way to make this better. 
I, I sure hope that I can. But, heck, it works, barely. Keep these things topped off with copper. Keep this one, this one, and that one <laughs> with uh, varying degrees of copper and iron. So, like, later on we'll have drones, and I can just say, okay, this is a receiving chest. This is a logistics receiving chest, and these are the things that I want to be taken there, and it will just automatically disseminate our resources. Looks like we might not actually need two of those. That wasn't very wise of you. Okay, so now that we have these things, we can actually automate production of Of the of the science potions, let's um let's not worry about trying to use grabber arms and everything. I just need to get it started. To do that, we need some iron. Oops. Just give me one more of these things. Okay, we'll automate part of it. Oh, you know what? What am I? What am I talking about? We will automate it. Why wouldn't we? For some reason, it didn't even occur to me that I could put these things side by side. You'll need power and a pretty quick output. Oh, we need copper. Oof! I'm telling you, it's it's tricky. <laughs> trying to trying to have a good layout. It's tricky. Green science packs, finally! Now we can research stuff and not have it take absolutely forever with green science. I want to work on, even though they cost quite a bit, I want like electronic distribution. I really like having bigger energy poles. It's nice. Okay, what, what's holding you up? Transport belts. Why aren't you making transport belts? Fine, I'll dump I'll dump all my transport belts in there. And you're not making anything because this thing's not making anything. Because why? What's happening? It's not power related. Oh, I see. It can't take the iron, the electronic circuits out because it can only hold two. This one can't hold more than two. This, we're waiting on iron plates. I think I've got too much gear production. I need more iron. Less, fewer gears. We've got a huge stockpile of gears. One point, holy crap. That's a lot of gears. Okay, no more gears from there for a while. Damn. That is some serious extra gears. I really, un I mean, in the past, I've always been short on gears, so I really un overestimated how many gears we'd need. Yikes. You can go manually put the green potions over there for now. So we get some iron there. That one needed iron too. 
and that is what cues it all up. And since this one is actually just gears, I really shouldn't be putting iron there unless I need gears. So we'll just put it all here. In which case we can leave the inserter there and just understand that I'm only going to put iron there if we get somehow get short on gears. But all of the gears are going towards this thing. And we have, I think we have enough. I think we have plenty. So... And you're having a hard time storing. Why don't we put a box there? That way, if we we can make more electronic circuits, we'll need them later. And it looks like we're out of iron here. Why is it all in my character? Ooh, that's way more, way more iron up there than we need. This is where the iron needs to be for now. No, that's what I, I... I keep doing it backwards, that's why. Okay. So now we should see some pretty major green science potion. Got quite a few of them on the way. 25 in our inventory. Let's go put them over here. We'll put, um, put half of them up there and then take half of them back. And we can start working on this. It's just, it's complicated, I think, to actually get this thing working the right way. Could you actually support a second green science pack thing? Yes. goes here. It would be nice if these could go around the carousel and automatically go in there. We'll get there eventually. For now I'm just happy that we're making science. Potions, man. They're tricky. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Thank you for watching, though. Watching me get all confused by this game and, and everything. We certainly don't need these here if we've got a huge, huge supply of gears. I, I just don't know how I thought that I needed that many gears. My goodness. It's crazy. I mean, I know these are feeding gears out that way, but there's an abundance of gears here, too. And a huge abundance of copper. 1,200 copper there, 1,000 there, 2,100 here. It's just iron. Iron is the thing that we need. So I think it's time to go ramp up iron production, then. Don't you? Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you again soon.